Hello, YouTube family. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. I go by the nickname Ginger. It's not cute not knowing. We start with a hug, so... The weekend version is already up. Do check it out because it's the fancy version. And for people who are like, where's the pictures? The pictures are right there. So, so go there because the weekend version, Lashana Simon puts it together. This is the Friday version. And I've got so much. It's not cute not knowing. It's time to know the death of actor. Now, when I put that darn thing in. You know what? I keep losing stuff. I am so, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so, okay. The death of Tommy Tiny Lister. The actor, we best know him as Debo from the Friday movies. 62 years old, was found unconscious and dead at his home. He had a really incredible career to go from pro wrestling into acting. Sources are saying that he had been sick for a while this year. Like this year, he had a lot of health challenges, but he was found dead at his home. I know that he was married. I believe he had one or two kids because I heard about a son who was older and then a very young daughter. But wow, 2020 has been just a, just a cruel year. But rest in peace, actor Tommy Tiny Lister, dead at the age of 62. Sister Act fans, Sister Act 3 is going to be taking place. Whoopi Goldberg and Tyler Perry are going to be producing it for Disney. Now, Shirley Ralph, Broadway star, TV star, we want to see Shirley Ralph in it. Shirley Ralph needs to be in this. Now, for those who are saying, what about Lauren Hill? She ain't doing it. Y'all know she's not coming up to Sister Act. We're going to have to find somebody like a Lauren Hill. It's not going to be Lauren. But you should get Cheryl Lee Ralph. She would be good in this. Any Indiana Jones fans? Because there's going to be an Indiana Jones 5. Harrison Ford is going to return. He's in his 70s. They are saying this is going to be the fifth and final installment of Indiana Jones. Coming out? July 2022. Another big movie coming out July 2022. July 8th, to be exact, is Black Panther 2. They have moved the date. Filming starts this summer. Ryan Coogler, writing, directing. They're not going to be recasting the late actor Chadwick Boseman. I guess with, uh, with Chadwick dying, T'Challa will too. Letitia Wright, is supposed to step in as the Black Panther because at some point, if you follow the comics, Black Panther did become a female and she played his sister. Will this still happen? I don't know. They're keeping a lot of things under wrap and she did a bunch of crazy stuff on social media. So there's a lot of things that are just like this. But Black Panther 2, everybody, July 8th of 2022. Actor Donald Glover is going to bring his character Lando Calrissian to Disney+. Plus. Disney made such a stunning announcement about the number of programs that they have coming out on Disney+. Plus. They're doing a whole Star Wars series, and one of them is on Lando Calrissian. This was the character made famous by Billy D. Williams, and Donald Glover is going to play the younger Lando Calrissian. Time Magazine, their persons of the year are two people, President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris. The Korean pop group, BTS, they were named Entertainers of the Year and LeBron James was named Sportsman of the Year. Sinbad, his children are speaking. The actor, comedian, had a stroke a few weeks ago and they said that their father is coming along. There are good days, there are bad days, but please continue to keep Sinbad in prayer, but he is in rehab. The Wendy Williams Show is going on hiatus. Now, this is interesting because, okay, we started off the week, we found out her mother died. Then she comes on and says that her dad, I mean, her, that her mom had been dead for weeks. Then her brother, they say, got a YouTube channel, and he says she died the Sunday before last. 
I really didn't want to mention it because people mourn differently, but her show is going on hiatus until January the 4th. Any Batman fans out there? Fox is doing a new series on Batman, and this is the plot line. The new Batman is going to be black. The new Batman is going to be black. Houseway, how is that? In the DC Comics, Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Batman, had a best friend and the conf confidant, Lucius Fox. Lucius winds up inheriting the Bruce Wayne estate. He inherits Batman, and it's going to be a black man under that king. No word on who's going to be Robin, but the new Batman, the Fox series. DC Comics has announced that Batman is going to be black. Peppa from Salt and Peppa. She is suing her doctor for a bad butt job. Peppa got butt implants, and they were big. Peppa was in a car accident, and the car hit her from behind. The impact of that car hitting from behind made her implants shift. So she had to go to the doctor, I guess to get it unshifted. The doctor wanted to make it smaller because it was big. You know, you, have a, you see a natural big butt and then you see the implants and then you're like, mm, a lot of stuff back there, like, like, like toilet like rolls of toilet paper or something. Three surgeries. Three surgeries. She's currently suing that doctor. It had to be painful because you just can't go sit back down after a butt implant. You know, she was mad because she didn't want her original butt. And I guess because it wasn't like really round. It, it was a lot of stuff. But she's suing the doctor. And look at me with the segue. Salt and Pepper Lifetime miniseries, January twenty third. Salt Pepper. I guess they'll figure they'll. They, they get, you got to mention Spinderella, even though they're all in court fighting. But that miniseries on their life, the groundbreaking group Salt and Pepper, it debuts on Lifetime, January twenty third. Versus this weekend, who you got? You got Keish Cole. You got Ashanti. It's going to be good. You can find it on IG at Versus. V-E-R-Z-U-Z. -E -Z. I believe it's also going to be on Apple TV. Jennifer Hudson next year is going to be so big for her. She is going to be doing a Christmas song comedy. Christmas movies are huge. She's producing it for, for New Line Cinema. She's going to be singing classic Christmas songs and new Christmas songs next year. She's playing the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin. It comes in theaters next August. She's playing the Queen of Soul. Marlon Wayans is playing that bad husband, Ted Price. You've got Mary J. Blige. It's Donna Washington. You've got Farce Whitaker playing her dad. The, the, um, her, her dad was was really famous, famous preacher, Cleve... Um, Clarence Franklin. I know y'all gonna tell me. Y'all gonna tell me. It's Friday. Y'all know how I get. Y'all know how I get with, 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 with the Fridays. But Forrest Whitaker is gonna play C.L. Franklin, her dad. See, it's just, it's just, it's just C.L. Franklin. It looks like it's gonna be amazing. I cannot wait. It's been pushed back and back and back. And finally, we're gonna see it. But Jennifer Hudson is gonna be doing a Christmas song comedy. I mentioned Keisha Cole Ashanti. Larry King, he is still hanging in there. Larry King is like 87 and he's divorcing his wife. She's many years younger than him. She's 61. He said they're breaking up because of age and religion. And he's got to give her all this money, like $33,000 a month. They have two sons. She says it's not enough money. This is Larry King's seventh wife. Larry King, please don't get married no more. I think you need to stop. Some things you're good at. <laughs> Some things, obviously, the marriage thing. 
it's not a good thing. So you might want to hold off on getting married again. The weekend edition is up. So check it out. Give us some likes because we love to see the thumbs up. Leave a comment. I do read the comments. Yes, I read the comments. Sometimes it may take me a day, but I read the comments. So leave a comment. Let me hear from you. Spread the word. The channel is growing. And I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. It's not cute not knowing. I'm Patty Jackson. I am your auntie of pop culture. Hello, YouTube family. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. It's not cute not knowing. We start with a hug. Come on. I have huge movie news. I have huge movie news. Because of the way things are, a lot of movie theaters not opening, slow to open, movie companies don't know what to do. Warner Brothers today has made a major announcement about its movies for 2021. They're, this this is actually going to start on Christmas Day with Wonder Woman 1984. They're going to be releasing their movies not only in theaters, but on HBO Max the same day. Wait until you hear the movies. I told you Wonder Woman 1984. Tom and Jerry, Godzilla versus King Kong, in movie theaters, HBO Max the same day. Judas and the Black Messiah, Fred Hampton, that movie. Um, oh, there's so many great movies. Mortal Kombat, the new Space Jam with LeBron, A New Legacy. In movie theaters, HBO Max the same day. The Matrix 4, Suicide Squad, The Many Saints of Newark, the prequel to The Sopranos. A lot of movie halls are going to be, they're, they're, they're really annoyed right now. Now, I, I think that movie theaters are going to come back, but this is definitely changing the game. A lot of people didn't want to come out the house before everything happened. But to have a top movie released, HBO Max, they're going to do it. It's going to be in theaters. Warner Brothers, they're shaking up the game. What do you think? A lot of blockbusters, and I'm going to have more details for you tomorrow. The Bee Gees, How Can You Mend a Broken Heart? That documentary about them, it starts streaming on HBO and HBO Max on December the 12th. The Bee Gees were incredible. They were so much more than Saturday Night Fever. The brothers Gibb hailing from Australia. There was Andy Gibb, the young one. He died at the age of 30. The brothers had hits, but they wrote hits. Islands in the Stream for Kenny Rogers, Dolly Parton, Heartbreaker for Dionne Warwick, when, when the album with Barbra Streisand with Guilty. One of my favorite albums of all time. I will have more details on this tomorrow too, but it starts streaming. It's a great documentary on their life, their rise, how when disco all of a sudden wasn't the thing, how they stayed the course and just an incredible, and if you love music and you love hits, uh, this Bee Gees documentary, How Can You Man a Broken Heart, which was a big hit for them in 1971. It's based on that with the Bee Gees. It's going to be streaming HBO December 12th. Snoop Dogg. For many of you who enjoyed his commentary during the Mike Tyson, Roy Jones Jr. fight, and you said, I loved him doing that. Will he do it again? Yes, he is. He is starting his own boxing league, everybody. Snoop Dogg is starting his very own boxing league. Snoop got a lot of stuff going on, but he's going to start his very own boxing league. They're promising big fights, but they're not saying who the fighters are going to be, so we have to wait. But Snoop's starting a boxing league. Now, speaking of boxing, Evander Holyfield, who's 58, says he wants to fight Mike Tyson again. Mike Tyson, 53. Should people over 50 be in a boxing ring? 
the first time Holyfield and Tyson went at it. It was in 1996, Evander Holyfield won. In 1997, they fought again. Mike Tyson bit Evander Holyfield's ear off. For the third time, what do you what do you think is going to happen? Will you take it serious because they're older? Evander Holyfield says, okay, Mike, you beat Roy Jones Jr. It's time for you to take me on next. Will this happen? I do a podcast. I'm going to get to my podcast later. I'm, 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 I'm going I'm to be good and, and get to the stories. Let's get back to Snoop Dogg, who's going to be teaming up with Mariah Carey tomorrow night on her special. It starts streaming Mariah's Magical Christmas. You got Ariana Grande, Jennifer Hudson, Billy Eichner. You've got Misty Copeland, the ballerina. You've got Tiffany Haddish. Mariah is called the Queen of Christmas because all I want for Christmas. She's singing. She's got guest stars. And it starts streaming tomorrow, 7, on Apple TV. Snoop, Jermaine Dupri, they're all going to be a part of it. So that's going to be a great special. Now, Mariah's on the cover of Elle magazine. And she just announced the Mariah Carey cookies. It's a real thing. Mariah Carey is coming out with a line of cookies. Chocolate, chocolate chunk, triple chocolate trunk, chunk, Heath Bar, lemon coolers, spiced oatmeal raisin, gingerbread, pumpkin, white chocolate cranberry. That sounds good. If you need information about Mariah Carey's cookies, go to MariahCarey'sCookies.com. It's a real thing. She has come out with a cookie line. Tomorrow, the special Mariah, I guess she is proving she is the queen of Christmas. Tom Bergeron says there is no way, no way he'll return to Dancing with the Stars. I told you guys Tyra wants a raise, right? A lot of people are not happy. They said, can she go? Tom, can you come back? Tom says, no. They got rid of me. That time has passed. There will be a wedding next year for Blake Shelton and Gwen Stefani. They would say they're definitely getting married next year. Meanwhile, Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez, they have postponed their wedding again. They say they're going to get married when the time is right. When do you think that will be? When the time is right. Tina Turner is back with a new book. The 80-year-old pop music sensation has written a new book. Now, for those who are saying, well, didn't we hear everything in I, Tina? No. The book, Happiness Becomes You, A Guide to Changing Your Life for Good. She talks about a lot. She talks about poor childhood, being abandoned by her family, Annie Mae Mullock, Annie Mae Bullock turning into Tina Turner. The abusive marriage to Ike Turner, getting out, facing financial ruin, and building her career again. Here's what happened in the years afterward. Did you know? She went on to win eight Grammys. But did you know that in 2013 she suffered a stroke? Tina Turner battled intestinal cancer. Tina Turner also had kidney failure and her current husband gave her a kidney. He's 25 years younger than her. She has come to terms with the death of her son, Craig, who committed suicide two years ago. She also said she found it in her heart to forgive Ike Turner for years of abuse. This book is out. Tina is talking. Happiness Becomes You, A Guide to Changing Your Life for Good. Basically, she's letting everybody know you are never too old to make changes in your life. And you may start off rocky and it may start off rough, but you can make changes in your life for good. I'm sure it's going to make a great stocking stuffer. I do a podcast, Patty and the Millennials. It's me the baby boomer, millennials, Gen X, men, and women. We talk about dating terms for 
2021, and you may be saying to yourself, but Patty, I'm booed up, I'm married. You should always know what's going on and always be there to explain things to your single friends. Have you guys ever heard of apocalypsing? Apocalypsing, and real young kids be doing this. They treat every relationship like it's their last. Everything is rushed. Everything is hurried because they're like, the world's coming to an end. We got to do this now. <laughs> That's apocalypsing. How about folkloring? Okay, y'all probably say, I, I do this when I talk about Elder Barge. This is when you romanticize everything and you refuse to see. You refuse to see the warts. That's folkloring. Apparently, this is kind of like a new thing for 2021. This one struck me. People don't break up anymore. They get rid of you on social media to let everyone know that we're no longer together. It's called sanitizing. And when you sanitize, you break up with the person and everything, whether it's your Twitter, mostly IG or Facebook, you, you erase any trace of this person. They do no longer exist because you are no longer together. And it's called sanitizing where you just kind of like scrub them clean and they're just, they're, they're just no more. You can find the podcast on Spotify. You can find us. We're, we're new to Spotify, by the way. Uh, Apple Podcast, SoundCloud, and of course, the iHeartRadio app. It's really a fun conversation. And if you are in the podcast, you will want to check us out. It's Patty and the Millennials. Y'all know I be spelling Patty with a Y. It's not cute not knowing. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. I do read the comments. You know that I did because I will give you a heart. Tell a friend, subscribe to the channel. The channel is growing. What do I love to say? It's not cute not knowing. And now, you know. I'm Patty Jackson. Thanks for joining me. I'm your auntie of pop culture.